Okay, so what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Antoine Matthews, and check this. We're about to go and run through the Hydra room on Try Hack Me. This is an easy box, extremely easy. The purpose of it is to get you familiar with some of the ways that you can use Hydra to crack passwords. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. So, right here, we already logged into the page. We have Hydra up right here in terms of the Try Hack Me room. You can see that we already connected. Um, so let's go ahead and scroll down. That so for the introduction, this is going to just tell us what Hydra is. It's going to give you, you know, some instructions on how to install it. If you're using Kali Linux, it's already installed on your box. For if some reason you were using like a, a Ubuntu or um, some other kind of VM that did not have it. You could just go use this link, follow the instructions and download it. So once you're done with that, you read the above. <laughs> Going off of honesty policy here, go ahead and click done or complete. That'll be finished. So now this is where it'll actually show you how to use Hydra to give you some pretty good examples of the different ways that you can use it um, in terms of your commands. This is the general way that the command is laid out. But as you can see, like with SSH, switches up a little bit. Post web forms switches up a little bit. So you want to make sure for this room, these are the only two that we're going to have to use. There's multiple other ways that you could um, use uh, Hydra to actually crack into you know different passwords but for this room we're going to use ssh and post web form so with that said let's get into it let me scroll this up a little bit so it says use hydra to brute force molly's web password so all right cool first thing we want to do is we can scroll up right here web form so look this is easy what we're gonna do is we already know that this is gonna be a web server because it's right here so if you wanted to you can go ahead and paste and go push enter and what does that do look we got a login screen right here letting us know that this is a web server let's go ahead and type in molly as you can see i already put it in here once Let's just do a general password. Let's type in uh, admin, see if that works. Don't say if nothing doesn't work, right? Um, so now let's go ahead and actually copy that command that we saw in our first one. So this is actually, I don't need to copy it, but to the fact, to, to follow along with the team, with the squad, look, I'm gonna go and copy it for y'all. So you know your boy already got all this stuff set up so look, let's go through this command right let's go ahead and push this back right here what we're gonna do is for our username put molly and look the reason this is a lowercase l right here is because we're only using a single username if for some reason we had like a list of usernames and we saved them to a text file or some kind of document this would be a capital L, similar to this capital P. And it's pretty much saying, like, I got multiple usernames. I want you to go through all of them to see, um, or to, to brute force. Next thing we have to do with this command is P. So password, um, for our password, we're going to be using the password list, uh, rock you. It's already installed on Linux. Let's keep it simple, you know, rock with it. If you got, you know, another list that you prefer to use, you can go ahead and do it. But for this box, it's easy. Personally, if you want to do this like on a real sec list is really dope. I'll put a link to that GitHub and you can go and uh, download his or her list. I'm not sure if it's a guy or a gal, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put this in here. So let's under user, share, word list, rock you. See, so look, try hacking me, hook this up. They already put the, the IP address right here. For our target, 
it'll let you know it's the HTTP post form right here. This is where you want to go back. So we logged into the page or we tried to log into the page, right? So you see the slash login right here. This is what you, you can go and copy this or you can go here and just type it in. Once you got this, just push enter. You get money. So look, it's gonna do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. Bang, all right, look, you see at the bottom right here, this, this green text, that lets you know that we got the login. Molly, we are, that's the name that we provided, right? Then we got the, the password, we got Sunshine, but now we gotta verify this. So let's go ahead, hit Molly up real quick. And then also for the password, it says Sunshine, right? You can copy that, paste it, or just type it in. It's not like it's some complex password, so yeah. With that, you see we got Hercules in the background, but we ain't worried about Hercules. We got our flag right here. So for question one, go ahead and copy this. Hop back into not Hydra, my bad. Hop back into Try Hack Me. Let's scroll down a little bit. Boom. Same thing. Just go ahead and push this right here. Well, not push it, but enter in that password that you just that flag that you just copied, paste it right here. And then if for some reason you you know didn't know how to do this, you didn't read through the documentation properly, you can go ahead and push hint. They give you a clue. And look, it even gave us an identifier, right? So it said, look, rocky.txt. It said, if you try more than 30 passwords from Rocky. To me, that sounds like, A, it's an indicator. Probably you should be using this word list. But uh, either way, you can always have hints. That's what's pretty cool about these easy boxes. Not too difficult, but if you do need some guidance, they help you out. Next thing, it said, all right, cool. So you got the, you got the post of the HTTP post form, but let's see if you really got it. Let's see, let's see if you can connect via SSH, right? So we're gonna use the same user. We got Miss Molly right here, and then it said the SSH password. So once again, let's scroll back up. If you, I'm gonna put a cheat sheet connected to this, uh, to this video. Y'all can go in there and use that if you did have some questions. Or it, it'll be, of course, like a cheat sheet, so you have all the commands already there for you. Let's go ahead and copy this. Toss this into the terminal. We're gonna paste it out. Bang. All right, so once again, we back at it, right? So let's go ahead. That's Molly. All right, for the password list, we're gonna use the same one, right? So let's keep it easy. Rocky. This is what we gonna go with. Once again, the IP address is already in there. And right here, you got your four threads. That just means that you wanna use more threads. So think, I, this is pretty much like in map. When you say T4, T3, it's gonna increase the speed. Uh, really what T stands for in Hydra is thread. So it'll open up more threads. So it's more resources for you to be able to crack the password a little faster. That's why I said it relates to in maps. Pretty much just a hey, speed it up. Give me the password, bro. You know what it is. And right here we indicated SSH. So let's go ahead and push enter. And if you notice on this one, we don't have all of these extra passwords or all of this extra information. That's because we don't have that tack H flag right here or that parameter. So if you don't want to have all this extra information and you just want the password, just don't put the tack H. I mean tack uh, tack V. early in the morning right now for this computer all right bet so look we got it back right so that's good money that's all we wanted was this password so now that we got our login we got the, the password now we got to actually ssh into this right so check this y'all know how to, will we do the ssh 
Y'all let me know the format. Y'all, y'all got this money, right? All right, so look. SSH. Oh, look, we already got one for Molly because we've been in her pockets before. So, Molly at, and we just gonna put in our new IP address because this is the first time I did it. That's an old IP address. She got a new box, so now we gonna crack her on her new box too. We can't get away from her. Let's go ahead and push enter. Actually, let's verify we put that right. 10101431444. That's good to go. All right, cool. So, type out yes. All right, now we got to put that password in, right? So let's check this. B U T T F R F L Y. What is that sound? You still butterfly? I didn't know I knew how to rhyme, huh? So look, check. We on the box. We got it. So let's go ahead. LS this. Okay. Oh, look. It's a flag right there. It's a flag right there. Um, let's see this. All right, cool. So look, first. First, I put LS, right? So that's how we know the flag is right there. But I type in who am I just so we can see who we are. So we verified that we are Molly. On the low, I know this is kind of outside of this box, but if we wanted to, um, this would be a good a good starting place to start some privilege escalation. But that's not what the box called for, so we ain't going to you know, push it forward. Either way, let's go ahead and push cat, see what this flag is about. Go and push enter. Boom, and check that. So if this was a real engagement, this could be like a password file. This could be um, you just cracked a, a corporate company, and this could be a list of their users, phone numbers, PHI. That's what the purpose of this flag is for. Uh, but obviously, they're not going to give us some sensitive information on Try Hack Me. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop back into Mr. Try Hack Me. Um, scroll down a little bit. Boom, copy and paste that flag that we got. And voila, you can thank Antoine. I'm going to put it on your tab. Um, anyway, if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, tell everybody. Come back and rock with me, man. We back out here with this channel. We out in these internet streets, making the love, teaching people how to do some cool stuff with this technology and breaking it down in a way to where it's not intimidating. So, hey, holla at your boy. See you in a minute.